I thank you for respecting the work this family is going to carry out today. We're going to try to do it as traditional, our protocol, as we can. The ones that stand behind me are the ones, the family doing the work. So with that, we have Stefan and Iris. We're going to start off with O Canada. O Canada. would like you to witness their work today. Oh Sam, thank you for coming. All the ones that are here today, you're all witnesses to take home today. What is taking place? participate in creating a, a beautiful community garden. Um, there's not too many projects that uh, have an absolute yes. Uh, benefit for students, benefits for teachers, benefits for parents, benefits for the greater community. I really feel children need to be more connected to nature and to understand where food truly comes from not just from the Safeway or the IGA. I'm very honored to be here today on behalf of the school district and I'd very much like to thank the Kwantlen family for their participation here today. You are an important part of our community and we greatly appreciate your blessing and your presence and your work here for us today. So thank you for being a part. I think it will be a treasure that will last for a very long time and it's a wonderful legacy to your school community. So thank you to all of those who took the initiative on behalf of everyone to complete this. Food is very, very important to us and getting good, wholesome, nutritious food that you know where it comes from is even more important. And the work that's been done by the, uh, the Fort Lanning Community uh, Garden Association and by Devin with the uh, school green team and all the green team uh, people is, is fantastic. When I first began this project, I only hoped that the garden would provide a place for the community to grow their own food but already the project has done so much more than that and it's not even built yet <laughs> it's demonstrated what how much power a small group of dedicated students can have in their community it's brought the school and the community closer together and it's brought all of us here today I don't know if the last time when grade ones were here with the mayor with the superintendent with the high school students so already the community garden has brought us together as a community so well so I want to thank all of you for being here that we're going back to our grassroots um, our traditional foods out of the ground organic you know, everything's natural so that's everything to us. really it's uh, like multiple layers like there's the importance of uh, just, I, we had never really 
we'd met with all the individual groups that we've been working with, but we never brought them together and uh, had everybody kind of have an experience together and know what how large of a team they're part of. So that that was one part. Then uh, just bringing the school and the community together. We've been working with the green team at the school and then with the Portland Community Garden Committee, but that's been separate. So bringing the school and the community together and then respecting the Aboriginal uh, tradition and protocol, I think, was huge as well. It was funny because I kind of just started off an idea as an idea. I kind of just like talked to people and then it slowly started to get going. And then I didn't really know what I was doing at all. And then it's, but it's all kind of come together, so that's great. Well, I um, manage our parks design and development department, so we get involved with a lot of the community projects to build uh, new parks out in our communities. So this is one we like having partnerships, and this has been a great partnership with the school to uh, come together to find the right location for the community garden, so a place that's accessible for the school and also for the neighborhood to come, and this has been the location, so we're just happy that we're able to partner and offer some support and assistance to make this project complete. You're welcome. Good job!